All right, guys, so we're gonna do a little review of hotkeys. All right, now, as you guys know, I use hotkeys a lot. Um, the advantage, of course, is that they allow you to get in trades quickly, and sometimes more importantly, get out of trades quickly. So when I set up hotkeys, for the most part, the hotkeys that I'm using, they're designed for quick exits. Um, when I get into a trade, most of my trades are pretty well thought out, so I've already prepared my order pre-market, usually pre-market, or I've prepared my order while a stock is pulling back with the intention of getting in on the first pullback. So um, let's see, I've got a, um, a level two window I can show you so you can see what it looks like. Uh, let me just grab that. Uh, so basically, when I'm preparing an order, I just simply type in uh, into my level two the position size, the price I want to pay, uh, the route, and then all I have to do is click send. So the order is ready. All I have to do is click send when the market opens. And here's the um, here's what my level two looks like. All right. So I type this in here: share size, the route, the price. That's my account, and then I just click buy. So I can have four of these set up ready to go. Now, I don't really need the hotkeys to set these up, but I do have a couple of hotkeys that I use from time to time. Um, let me move this back out of the way here. So I'll put that back down here. So the hotkeys that I use for preparing order, um, I can adjust the price. So key up is the price up by one penny. If I press the control button and key up, it, the price is gonna go up by 10 cents. Key down is the down, uh, down one penny. Key down with a control button is down 10 cents. So I can very quickly move up and down uh, price. All right, I can uh, press control S and the focus will go on to uh, the share size spot here on my level two. So if I'm on price, typing in price, and then I hit control S, it'll go over to the, the mouse will go over to here automatically and I can go quickly type a different uh, share size if I want to. All right, and then if I want to go back to price, I go back to control P for price. Uh, now, importantly, if I have any open orders or I have an order where I got a partial fill or I want to cancel it for whatever reason, I just press control Q, cancel the order. That'll cancel all open orders. All right, now, if I want to just buy, I just want to jump into something that's running, I don't have time to prepare my order, I can press Shift F1, and that'll buy on Arca, or I can press Shift 1, and that'll buy on, um, on this route right here, ITGI. Okay, so I can choose which route I want, I've customized it right here in the command section. And then I just select this key. So shift one, two, three is by 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. All right, now I mostly would use uh, just a, a regular route like this. ARC is more expensive, but uh, sometimes it can be useful if uh, the stock is maybe very thinly traded and you want a little bit of a better fill. ARCA usually gives pretty good fills, but then you're paying a higher price. Okay, so uh, in general, though, I don't use those hotkeys because I don't want to impulsively buy. I want to buy very calculated. I want to think about how much I'm risking, right? What's my stop? What's my profit target? So that means, for the most part, I'm going to be typing in my orders right here, lining them up, and then getting ready to hit the buy button. All right, so more importantly, then, is selling. All right, so my selling hotkeys... That's where, uh, that's where I'm mostly using hockey. So control Z, X, and C, those are gonna sell my either full position, half position, or quarter position, 10 cents below the bid. So this is gonna be a limit order, and it's gonna go 10 cents below the bid. So if the bid is $4, the limit order will be for $3.90. Obviously, I wanna get filled at $4, but if a stock is just dropping and I need to get out and I'll you know, take some slippage, it'll give me 10 cents of slippage. All right, so that's selling half, quarter, half, uh, full half and quarter positions on the bid, below the bid. All right, now alternatively, you can see up here, route CCMX. Uh, this is a dark pool routing, so you can route to the dark pools and ping the dark pools. So I'm gonna press Control Z as usual, but also press down the Alt button. All right, so I'll sell the full, the half, or the quarter position, again, on the bid, giving it a little less slippage in this, uh, in this key, hot key. 
all right, and using a different route. For some reason, I try to bail out with this route, ITGI, and the order just sits there or it doesn't work, then that's fine. It, that sometimes happens. I'll just go and choose another route. And I can select routes right here. Control I will be ITG, ITGI. Control J is JPCC. Control M is just a market order. Uh, and Control D is CCMX for the dark pools. Okay, so uh, those are my orders for selling on the bid, bailing out. Now, what I also sell is up on the offer. So you can see adding liquidity. If you sell on the offer, you're adding liquidity to the market. All right, so that's selling up on the ask. All right, so if we look at our level two window, that would be putting shares automatically at 519. So instead of having to type, you know, I want to sell half positions, so I want to sell 1,000 at 519, I just hit this key right here, Control L, and I'll sell automatically half my position, my open position times 0.5, so that's one half. The price is the ask. That's the current ask. All right, so I can sell, again, full position, half position, or quarter position up on the ask. So oftentimes, when I'm in a trade that's running, I'll go and put a quarter position up on the ask and see if I can get out. See if someone wants to buy my shares off the offer. So I'll put up maybe a quarter or a half. So when I say, all right, I just sold half, I had an order sitting up on the ask waiting to get filled. So I'm just sitting there waiting, and you know, eventually, hopefully, there'll be some buyers that come and uh, grab my shares. Alternatively, I could have an order up on the ask, trying to sell half, and then realize, you know what, I just want to be safe here. I'm going to go ahead and sell half on the bid. So I can have uh, another order to sell half on the bid and still have that open order to sell half on the ask. And maybe, you know, they'll both go at the same time and then I'm all out. Or maybe one will go on the bid and then, you know, I'm still waiting on the ask or I can cancel the order and put a, another one up there. But in any case, the hotkeys that I use most frequently are selling on the bid and selling on the ask and, of course, canceling orders and adjusting orders. All right, so those are the hotkeys right there. And then this right here is just your standard level two window from uh, direct access software. All right, it's pretty simple. It does take a little bit of getting used to. It's always a good idea to practice your hotkeys because you can make hotkey mistakes. Uh, one of the reasons I don't have hotkeys or I don't use hotkeys for um, shorting is because sometimes I'll accidentally short when I intend to buy and that can be a really big mistake. So I just have my hotkeys um, lined up to be long because I'm a long bias trader, so uh, that works well for me. All right, guys, hopefully that's helpful. Anyone that has questions, please reach out, ross at warriortrading.com.